It doesn't matter whether you're trying to survive off the beaten track in Chernoris or explore the southern depths of Livonia. Being able to not only survive on the land but thrive off it is a useful skill to have. And here I'll show you everything from the basics to the more advanced so you can become a Daisy Bear Grills. You know, minus the whole drinking your own pee thing. But whatever you're into. If you like the video or find it helpful, please leave a like or a subscribe. It really helps me out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Ah, that's quite high. I wonder if you can see the coast from there. Well, you can now. I'll start off with the absolute basics, specifically some of the food you can get. One of the best sources of calories and my favorite way to flourish is by finding mushrooms. They can be found in woodlands, on farms, and around hay bales, and they have a much higher chance to spawn the longer you're in the area. The same thing can be said for fruit, which can be found around the bottom of fruit trees, and they are everywhere. You can also slaughter a variety of animals, from chickens to bears. The larger the animal, the more meat you're likely to get. These pieces of meat should not be eaten raw. Always cook any meat you get and never eat it if it's gone bad. Again, in the interest of keeping good health by avoiding sickness. But to cook all of the food I've just mentioned, you're gonna need a few things first. One of those things is a knife. Luckily, the land provides once again. By combining two stones, which can be found on their paths and railway tracks, or two bones, which can be found on skinned animals and humans, or by using a single bone or rock and rubbing it on another larger rock, you can create a knife, which is arguably the most useful survival tool in the entire game. You can then add this knife, bone and stone to a long stick to craft a spear, useful for hunting and PvP. But before we go on to cooking from the land, let's mention the last piece of food type which can now be obtained because of your knife, fish. To do this, you need to create a fishing rod, and this can all be done on the land. Firstly, you wanna kill an animal, specifically something larger than a chicken. Then by using your knife, you can combine it with the animal guts to create a rope. Combine the rope with a long stick from a bush, and you have the base of a rod. Then combine the bones from the animal with your knife, crafting a hook. But before combining it to the base of the rod, point your knife towards the ground to dig up worms. Attach the worms to the hook, the baited hook to the rod, and then just go to water. You can do this without bait, but it takes a lot longer and has way less chance of actually pulling out a fish. But now you have all the food you could possibly want, let's focus on preparing it so we can eat it safely and sometimes increase its nutritional value. To build a fire, approach a bush, cut it up and get some sticks. Keeping in mind long sticks can be snapped to make short sticks. Then approach a tree and cut off some bark. Combining sticks and bark can create both a fireplace and if you scroll through the options, a way to light the fire. Then all you need is tinder, which for the sake of surviving solely off the land can also be bark. Then you just need to light the fire. You can also use the knife you just made on a long stick to create a sharpened stick, which is not only a semi-decent weapon, but also a good way to cook. Just attach your food, wait for the ashy base to form around the fire, and then cook. Keep in mind, and this is extremely important, you can skin animals with this knife and cook its meat, but doing so without gloves can cause your hands to become blue bloodied, meaning anything you eat will make you ill, so I recommend using water or a bottle to clean your hands before you eat. Fires are also the best way to stay warm and dry, both issues if you're caught in a storm, especially on Livonia where it feels like it rains constantly. You can also wring out your clothing, reducing them to damp status by putting them in your hand and pressing the interact button. But living off the land, you might need a home, some shelter, or a place to store your items. For this, you'll need a rope and four steps. Sticks. This will create a shelter kit. Then by adding 4 long sticks and 50 short sticks, you can create a shelter that not only protects you from the rain, but also keeps you relatively warm. Plus the 100 slot storage and camouflage look isn't too shabby either. But to learn even more survival skills, click here. And as always, until next time.